Hello everyone, it's Shaw here, the host of The Inquisitive Wren. Welcome back to the podcast. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us and I do hope that you stick around. I'm in my third season of the podcast and there are certain questions that I tend to ask most people. One is about creativity because I believe it's so universal, but also so individual as well. And as we all know, some people are very creative metaphysically, uh, perhaps um, scientifically, maybe uh, artistically. There are many, many different ways in which people can be creative. And so it's such an individual thing for people. Their creativity is individual. But I do tend to ask my guests, especially the artists who come on the podcast, and I tend to have a lot of artists here because I'm so interested in in them, about their thoughts on creativity. Are we born with certain creative gifts or do we learn them? I will give you my take because I always ask my guests this. I believe we're born with some gifts. I believe that we're born with, I mean, and I base this on somebody like Mozart. However, within that, it takes a certain type of something to bring that to fruition, to make it happen, to realize what they've discovered. And that's, for me, is the difference. Many people believe that they've got particular gifts. I think things will resonate with the thing. You know, the thing will find the thing. So the person finds the person. And I, or the thing finds the thing, of course. So the, the poet. And so today's video is all about what the brilliant artists who were so kind to be on the podcast have said so far about creativity, their thoughts about it. And how they view and how they see creativity. Uh, Many of them do believe, you know, that it's a combination of things. We're born and then we learn. And again, for me, I believe we have to have it initially. And then we can expand upon it. We can perfect it. We can become an expert at it. I believe that's why Prince was so successful. I believe, I, these are my beliefs, that he was born with those gifts. And at a very young age, he was able to uh, perfect them so much so uh, that whatever he put out to the world resonated on a huge scale. We could talk about Michael Jackson, lots of different people who resonate on that large scale. Tina Turner, I mean, the list goes on, and I'm only talking about music. So that can influence the world, a, a good piece of music, a voice, lyrics could influence the world just as much as the discovery of electricity, the discovery of anything else that has literally changed the way in which human beings live. These are my beliefs. I believe that can fuel you. You know, a really good piece of music can be the catalyst between you getting out of bed or continuing in your depression. And because I've worked with so many people who have depression, you know, they have told me that music makes a difference for them. Not all of them, but a lot of people do find uh, solace in music. So here are a few of my guests giving you their view, or maybe they don't have a view, some of them. And, And I wonder what your thoughts are. So Please let me know. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Are we born with creativity, creative gifts, uh, certain aspects of that we perfect or have been already perfected that we're born? You know, we even use that saying, don't, don't we? She's a born talker or he's a born dancer or she's a born artist. You know, we, we get a lot of that, but we do see in a lot of young children this genius that comes out. So how does that happen? Where has that come from? Or as one of my guests referred to, is it ge- genealogy? You know, is it inherent? Is Was there a, a gene within the family pool? You often find families of musicians. I don't know if you often find families of, sci- of brilliant scientists or, I mean, there's probably a couple of examples, but so I'm wondering what your thoughts are. Are we born with creativity? 
Uh, is there a way in which we can perfect it? Just we have to have the little drip, the little seed. And then the more we practice, the more we perfect it, because I believe that's a skill as well. There are many people who practice and practice and practice something and they never get it. You could look at anything from playing the clarinet, uh, learn to be a pilot. Maybe they never pass the test to become a pilot. Um, to getting into medical school. Uh, there are many, being a lawyer, you know, many people talk about the bar. They take it so many times. They, then perhaps they're not, that's not their forte. Maybe they're not meant to do it. Um, but I, I believe that we come to this earth, and now I'm taking a metaphysical turn here, a spiritual turn here, uh, for different reasons, different bits and pieces that we learn, we pick up, we grow. In this lifetime, we may have certain gifts that we didn't have in a previous lifetime, but some of those gifts will transfer over to whatever lifetime. So here are my guests, my wonderful, fabulous, artistic, wonderful, ta wonderfully talented guests talking about creativity. Are we born with it? Uh, do we have it? Already have it? Do we have to work at it? Do we have to create the creativity. What happens there? Why are some people so good at things than others? I could go on and on and on about this and I won't. Let's go to our guest. And before I go, I will say thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. Be sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. And I hope to see you soon. Have a great week, everyone. Sounds like it, because I was going to ask you, do you think creativity, you're born with it, or is it learned? I don't know. I think it might be both. It might be something that's, uh, it, it's, I think that it's just a way in which you express yourself because there's something inside of you. However, that thing got in there, whether you were born with it or whether something happened, and that's just the way that you want to express yourself. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's... Uh, it's a good question. I have more questions than answers here. So. <laughs> so you are probably born creative. I mean, but what are your thoughts? Do you think people are born with creativity or can you learn? Because all, your life has been about creating. <laughs> I think we are all born with the gifts that um, we, we're all born with God given gifts, you know, Sometimes we don't know what gifts we possess, but um, for me, it was, you know, what I liked. I liked reading and I like storytelling and I like music. I love music and I love, you know, being able to see people's response to music and how um, you can make a song resonates with so many people on so many different levels. So do you think creativity, you think we're born with it or is it something that we learn? Um, no, I think it's something in, in us. Um, I think there's things in our DNA that we don't even know why certain people do certain things. I think there's a thing about certain people with rhythm or there's a certain thing in people about math or whatever it is. But I think creativity is innate. I think we are more creative at things than other people and that speaks to everybody some people are great at crafting something and don't even know why they're great at crafting things or whatever but i would imagine you probably go back a couple of generations and you're sure your family came from that they were doing that or you heard that all the time and you reacted a certain way to this this rhythm or the the, the sound i think you know the sound of like a preacher's voice, uh, that's creative to me because I think a lot of people can have that but don't know it or just don't, they're not in tune with their own creativity that they can do naturally uh, and what that means to people. You could speak to somebody in a certain way and know that you know how your tone is going to affect that person when you speak to Like a father knows I could use a certain tone to kids and they're going to want to fall in line with me. And it, just instinctively, they're going to know. And I think artists do that. Some of them don't even know they're doing it. 
but some of them have. I think Prince locked in to he understood. I can sing this song a certain way, and women are going to feel something with this. And I think once he once he locked into that, which I think would be like in the 1999 time when he understood sonically how I sound, and I'm gonna mix that with visually how I look. I will be irresistible to certain people, <laughs> like. And he plays on it his whole career, like. I want to make the voice and the presentation irresistible. Like he tapped into, he's not lucking into, he just happens to look a certain way or he's moving a certain way. No, he realized, I see the reaction this is getting. I'm about to fine tune this. And I think each album, he just fine tuned it more every time and switched it up just a little bit, but he knew what you were looking for. And he knew it. He gave off almost the energy like, and I know this is getting you. And you know, I know you, I'm getting you right now. Like, and he sort of throws that playfulness in it. But I think he's just a master of understanding his innate talent, which is why I say music is superpower, because I think people like Prince, Michael, James, uh, Jagger, they, they are like, they, I wouldn't be surprised if they are like uh, coming from something that they don't even understand. Like there was maybe somebody in their family generations ago that was doing the same type of thing it may have been music but it was in something where they just have a, a something that comes out of them that people respond to i think michael jackson is a perfect example of, of the highest level of that because even my daughter who was never around when michael jackson was famous or he's dead when she was born she's a michael jackson fan like she just hears the voice and then it got her, and I noticed when she would see the videos, she'd walk in the room, and she was just enamored. And it took her a second to know that that's the same person because he was skin got a little lighter. But when she realized it was the same dude, and he was also that little kid that she sees in some videos, she's just, it's just something. I think there's something in his voice that attracts children to just identify. Like, they don't even, they don't know nothing about it, but they can hear one of them songs. And they're into it. Like, oh, oh, this is great. And now she's doing the dancing. And, you know, her favorite song is Bad. Like, wow. She just loves, she likes looking at it. She thinks it's funny in a sense because it's so, yeah. <laughs> it's so incredible. And she's like, you never see stuff like that. And then she's just into the song, like something about it. I wonder if when you're creating, your creativity is fueled by some type of meditation. What's your creative process? What's happening when you're painting, drawing? What's oh, happening? That's a beautiful question. Yeah, so I feel like my creative process are not the same always. They are sometimes different. Um, so I do have experience of like, I have ideas that drop on my, uh, in my dreams. And then the next day I was just like, execute on it. it it's quite interesting. Yeah. But it also came from the, all the books that I read and all the videos, the tutorials that I watched, and all the references that I've looked at. So that is part of that as well. And the fact that um, I will show up to do my book because I believe that there's no such thing as creative block. I, I don't think that it exists actually. Just, just show up. Sometimes I don't feel like drawing successfully. But when I just pick up my pen, pencil, and started to draw, it just come out naturally. And when and that when I get in a zone of like doing uh, of drawing, creative, um, creating, and it's just meditative for me as well. Do you believe that creativity uh, is learned, or are you born with creativity? Oh, what a fantastic question! I think both. I think. I think we're all born with creativity because our job is to is to resolve problems and see life differently and learn. And in many ways, that that demands us to be able to shift our perspective and see things differently. And that is creativity, isn't it, in a way? But I'm sure, having said that, that some people have a, a bigger genetic dose of creativity than others. It's easier for some people to be more creative than others. But I do also believe that we learn it. And I, I know that, you know, we, we can learn tools and techniques 
um, to be able to become more creative, largely which uh, involves switching off our more analytical brains. But certainly talking with people about their dreams, I believe, does um, broaden and deepen creativity because you're talking, when you're talking about a dream that you've remembered, you're talking about something surreal often, um, illogical, <laughs> irrational. And so you're in that space and you're there, therefore also in that part of your brain, which is then more open and more open to problem solving and creative and seeing things differently. So I think, you know, working with your dreams, like so many other um, modalities and things that you do in life, um, can actually help you to become more creative. And I found in my work over all these years that, the people that come to me and work with it, a lot of people will come, work with the dream, got what they need, gone off, put a life-changing thing happening, fantastic, or I won't have that bad dream again, fantastic. Then other people stay because they just want to come again and again and again. And I found out the people that are very long-term clients are often artists who are deepening their skills or they're people who, are, who discover new creativity and go off either full-time or part-time in that direction. So there's definitely a correlation between at least exploring your dreams and and opening your the ways in which you look at life. Do you think that art is born within us or is it something we learn along the way? Do you think we're born? We're all artists. We all create our own life. We're all, you know, we all paint pictures of who we are. Uh, so we're all storytellers. And I defy any woman, and of course plenty of men, but I defy any woman not to paint because I see the most beautiful things they do to their faces, you know, putting on makeup and, and, and blending and colors. And, you know, we, we are, we are our own piece of art, really, when we walk around. Unfortunately, when people have got low self esteem, they tend to put, paint themselves in black and white or they try to paint themselves out of the picture. And for me, it's really important to embrace color and embrace difference and and um, most of my stuff at the moment is wearable art because I think it's kind of important to for it to be very um, visible mm. the, di the differences and some people they ta they have tattoos or it's all about you know d defining yourself and that's what we do when we create so I, I think it's innate but I do think unfortunately some people's lives erase that aspect mm -hmm. and it's important to re-engage with it uh, no i'm not just talking about art, art therapy but it's really important to re-engage with it as a language and a way of expressing yourselves and and reconnecting particularly because of the, the architecture of the brain peripheral nervous system and the language center very closely linked so so if you teach a child the violin their language skills are going to improve at that moment in time because of that. If you draw and you paint, your ability to express yourself more easily is is uh, is enhanced. And I just think it's so critical to keep that going. And that's why I still handwrite. I have I have to say it's, it's a gift from my father. He taught me how to write beautifully. And I think handwriting is something that's getting lost. You know, the, the act of motor you know mo fine motor movement so it's really really important for me that's why i encourage people to to be creative and to draw and to paint and even you know a doodle a day even if you never show it to anyone i think it's really important to express your own creativity so are we born do you think with some type of creativity or is it something we learn uh, yeah, no i really think we are born with cre with creativity and i think it can be suppressed by parental control or societally, societal control, whichever way you want to look at that. Um, and I think we all do, because people think that science isn't creative. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, of course it is. Creative thought, that's what we're talking about, creative thought. Not that you can draw or that you can write music or whatever it is. It's not that. That's not creativity. Anyone can learn French if they tried hard enough. Anyone can learn an instrument if they tried hard enough. And it's not that, it's about creative thought and thinking for yourself outside the box, um, thinking new thoughts, not... So as I'm sure you know, um, neurological pathways are made. So if you keep going down the same neurological pathway, no difference will ever happen. 
If you keep opening the same front door, you keep thinking the same thoughts. A lot of the time we are thinking the same thoughts. And sometimes I go, I am boring myself with my own thoughts and just to have different thoughts. And creativity is about that. So even if it's like watching, what I, I went ice skating last night for the first time since I was about 25 with my two children and um, we all had a scream. They'd never been before. And it was really, really, really hard. We all cried. We all fell over. We all did, but we carried on for two and a half hours <laughs> with a 15 minute break. And I was watching them and thought they are learning so much. One of mine is so determined. She's rubbish at it. And, well, she should be. She's only just got on it on the, the thing. She's so risk taking. She's on the floor hundreds of times you know just gets up cries a bit and then just gets up again and I'm my, my the mother in me is going oh, take her home I don't like it and then the other part of me is like no just she's brilliant she's so determined the other one is practicing little pirouettes but she's using one of those penguins she's getting it all sorted but having as much support as she can and the other one's just flinging herself and you just watch them and think their neurological pathways are just exploding because they are physically mentally emotionally as wired in this moment that they can because they're just learning new things and it was an amazing supportive ice rink went to Solihull ice rink and there was loads of young people supporting they were, every time you fell over they were there are you all right do you want me to pick you up and you were like wow some, all these really lovely young folk and lots of people really like just normal people just going you're right when every time you fell over because it's hard the ice and everyone knows and everyone was very it was a very community experience but that just illustrates that that creativity is not about learning it's about experiencing and letting yourself experience that moment without fear um, because fear blocks our experience because then we internalize we get frightened and it almost freezes our whole brain to not do it so if you can just go this this might hurt when i fall over but just get up again or just try something new i fell over that way that time i'm going to try something new and if you can keep doing that throughout your life. And there's those old expressions, you know, um, when was the last time you did something for the first time? And it's really true. I love a cliche because they're all true, but it's, you know, it's boring, but true. And it, you know, you want to just keep trying new things. And if you don't see new things and experience new things, where do you get this new influx of information from? You can't, we're, own, we're, we're, we're only animals. We do need external things, not to rely on them. That's the balance to, give us our nurture it has to be both ways it's a symbiotic relationship with our, our environment and our soul thanks so much for listening today make sure you subscribe and follow on all streaming platforms leave me a comment and also let me know if there's any particular topics you'd like me to discuss see you next time